to 411, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. I'm Onika McLean. And I'm Essence Samaje. And I'm Courtney Rashawn. And Kizzy Cox is off tonight. Actually, she's jumping and waving in Trinidad at the doggone carnival while we're here. But you know what? We're chock full of information today. So let's get a quick take on what's popping. All right. So, singer... Mariah Carey Ugh. is getting mad. How do they keep getting these men? The I new ones, no plan. Yeah, how you gonna build? Like, you know what? Billion. This is the trend now. Like, it started with Eve, and now it's like billionaire, billionaire, billionaire. So I am not mad at I'm any not of mad. Them. I'm not mad. I'm asking for advice. Calling all billionaires, and I'm asking for you to pay my tuition. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Mariah, thirty-five carat diamond ring. Wow. Billionaire, uh, James Packer. Mm-hmm. Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon sent his <laughs> condolences. No, he didn't. He sent his congratulatory <laughs> via Twitter. And what you got, Courtney? <laughs> well, <laughs> supermodel Tara Banks. Well, she's an entertainment mogul as well. Um, and her photographer boyfriend Eric uh, Asla mm-hmm. welcomed their first child. Really? Via well, surrogate. Yes, she had oh a surrogate. She welcomed her first child into the world with her boyfriend, which we didn't know about. Yeah, I don't think yeah. That, that was. Um, very, very hush hush. Yeah. Um, the baby's name is York Banks Isla, sorry, Asla, and that's Tara's first child. And she posted a picture of the baby's cap, um, symbolizing her little mm. one on Instagram. Wow, Aww, I can't wait to see. Yeah. Oh my god, you know, the baby's Congratulations. Oh my god, he's not yes. a baby. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Work, work. Now, Barbie is every woman, which Barbie was like a favorite of mine growing up, um, which every little girl loves Barbie. But Mattel has revamped Barbie and made her a little bit more curvy a little bit taller and a little bit uh, more petite in three different um, body types, which is really, really cool. They'll join the original Barbie collection and they will all be available on Barbie.com. So Barbie is going to be short Barbie got dark skin a dunk. short hair? She got a dunk Different dunk. textured hair. Yes. Really? <laughs> different feet foot sizes. Yes. Barbie's uh, going to have... And, like... and the actual doll dimensions are going to be different because Barbie has to symbolize now every woman. You know, she's That's just good. not the typical prototype from when, you know, Barbie was first created. Now she's every woman, which is actually great because, you know, the curves every for the curvy, woman. Barbie for the cur- curvy girls, Barbie mm-hmm. for the tall girls, Barbie for the petite girls. So a little mm-hmm. bit of Barbie for everyone. You could, a girl, little girl Barbie could look in into life. Barbie and see herself. Exactly, yes. Some okay. Barbie in your life. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Never. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. <laughs> Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Hey, you going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Wow. These are really good. You act surprised. This makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. And we want to bid a fond farewell to Abe Fagoda. You know, he played um, on Barney Miller. Right. He died at age 94. Wow. Uh, he was fish, remember? Yes, do you remember? Yes. I remember you know, fish. You no, not. Remember. <laughs> You've never seen Barney <laughs> no, Miller? No, she's never seen you know, Barney Miller. I'm going to have to do that. Well, I mean, I never really watched it, but I know who the character is. Can we not is. laugh right now? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. And um, the will of uh, singer David Bowie was re- recently passed, and he's left half of his $100 million state to his wife and the other to his children. So, and wait, and the nanny. 
he left some money to the nanny. And his assistant wow. as well. Assistant. What do you guys think about the nanny, though? Because, you know, I just always think about Maria Shriver and Arnold Schwarzenegger when I think about nannies getting It depends cash. on how long. If she was there for a long time, it's almost like their family, I guess. It might be like... And how about Iman probably wasn't having it? Thanks for hanging with What's the 411 TV. When we return, we'll have an interview with vocal powerhouse musical artist Terrell T. Rex Simon. Stay tuned. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. <laughs> mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts, stop the wrecks. Welcome to What's the 411 TV. Today we have vocal powerhouse Terrell T-Rex Simon sitting with us today. They're coming all the way from ATL. Yes, yes. What's up, Terrell? What's good? What's Hi, good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Thank you for having me. Thank you. So let me tell you, I have to ask, where'd you get the name T-Rex from? Okay. Uh, I actually got the name T-Rex from my boss, Life Jennings. Mm -hmm. um, the I'm, Life Jennings. The Life Jennings. The Life Jennings. Um, when we met, uh, he was in the weeds all hanging out. He was like, you're the only guy in the crew that don't have a nickname. And I was his favorite singer. He used to always be like, you're a beast, you're a beast, you're a beast. Perfect name. You know, that's the, <laughs> I'll the, come in the, at the you. slang ghetto word for somebody that's really good at something. Mm -hmm. all right. So he was like, we're going to call you T-Rex. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, really? That's you? different. T like, that a dinosaur. Dinosaur. Yeah, like a dinosaur. Yeah, like the dinosaur. Yeah. My name's yeah, Terrell, dope. starts with a T, and he... T-Rex or whatever it's called. And, uh, but don't mistake, it's Terrell T-Rex Simon yes. now. Yes. And that's how T-Rex was born. Evolved, yes. Nice. Very nice. So what's your musical background? Um, Church. Church? Yeah. Church, church boy. Church, church, church came from the choir. I, I'm, I'm from upstate New York. Uh -huh. Okay. And um, my grandmother used to drag me to church every week, and I hated it. And the only part of the service that I liked was the singing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. You know, and after singing, once the preacher get up there, I was going to sleep. Mm -hmm. you, know, you didn't so want anyone to upstage you? Was you in the front doing the vocals? I never had were, you doing, were you doing the vo vocals? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I never really had. I never really, really wanted to fight my way or be jealous about being in the front. Mm -hmm. You know, God will get you there. You didn't want the competition. Like, you <laughs> doing my own thing. It will no, happen. your gift will make room for you. Mm -hmm, exactly. You know, it's enough out here for all of us. Do you, do you play any instruments? I don't play any instruments. I tried to play the keyboard and my hands and my mind wasn't working <laughs> together, so I quit. Really? Your voice is your only instrument as of now. Yes, my voice is my only instrument. It's a very good instrument. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you I, that we, we listened to the um, In His Image song. In His Image. Oh my God, you guys have to check that out on YouTube. Oh, you check it out on SoundCloud because Anywhere. it's amazing. Your it's music's amazing. everywhere now. My yeah. music is everywhere on mm -hmm. iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. Mm -hmm. I just got my own Pandora station. You got your own Pandora station? I just oh, got a follow her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just got my better. own Pandora station. Um, and you can actually order CDs from Amazon. Well, I'm cool. old school. I like CDs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we in a digital time. But I used to like going to the store, having my CDs, my CD case, my CDs stacked up. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It was just, you get more so you can see more. So I wanted to make sure that people could get a CD as well. Yeah. Very nice. Very mm -hmm. nice. So when did you get your first break? I got my first break auditioning for life. Okay. First? It's all life, 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 but you know, it's, it's my that story. How long have you been working with him? Since he's the beginning of his career. Mm -hmm. Since... It must be nice? Since 268. Do you guys have a friendship, <laughs> like a relationship? Nice. How'd you meet him? I met him through a mutual friend we had at Sony. Mm -hmm. And um, he said, Mike is looking for singers. 
And I was like, really? He said, yeah. I said, when? He said, right now. It's like 9 o'clock wow. in the morning. Uh -huh. I got up, got dressed. He said, get down there. Went down there. I'm thinking it was just going to be me and life. It was uh -huh. 100 people there. Really? Wow. And That's I was just audition. like, wow. I got to go through this. I'm never going to get it. And, and that tells you just stick with it, right? Yeah, yes. yes. I end up getting it. What other artists have you worked with? Yeah. Um, from working with Life and people seeing my work, um, Neo. Uh, I did MTV Unplugged with Neo. Mm -hmm. I did some shows with Neo. Yeah, that was like the highlight of my life yeah. because they actually stopped doing MTV Unplugged. Mm -hmm. All right. And the day that I was coming home for my last day with Tour of Life, they called me and asked me if I could go do it. Wow. And I was like, well, what is it? They was like, MTV Unplugged. I was like, wow. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You know, because growing up as a kid, you know, they Infamous. always had that. Yes. Yes. Um, Wyclef, mm -hmm. uh, Wyclef, 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 Mario, wow. uh, Sharifa, Emily King, just a lot. Day 26. Mm -hmm. Uh, Shalik. And do you tour with them? How long do you stay out? When you well, you know what? I got in the business being a background singer. Mm -hmm. So I was traveling with life being a background singer. Then I became a music director. Mm -hmm. Then I became a vocal coach. So I was working for Day 26. I was a music director. Uh, a lot of the other guys, I was just singing background. Will we be able to catch you on the show? P. Diddy show, Making the Band? Yeah, when you was working with them? No, you know what? I actually started working with them after the show went off. Yeah. Okay. And they left Diddy. Mm -hmm. And uh, they got signed to Atlantic Records, and they were just trying to form a whole. What's group, a yeah. new what team. is a music director? It's a, mu a music director. His job is to hire a band, mm -hmm. singers, and just put the show together. Okay. Okay. You know, and um, the ideas and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. And I just got really good at for mm -hmm. being on a lot, so many tours mm -hmm. of knowing what's on to go first, second, third, fourth. Mm -hmm. You know, when to drop out, when to drop in, when the lights come down. And oh I just got gosh. really good at it, mm -hmm. and people just started calling me, you to know, do to do mm -hmm. that. So I don't got so many musicians' jobs, mm -hmm. so many singers' jobs in New York um, because everybody was calling me. Yeah. What is R and G? What's R and G? R and G is a genre that I made up. <laughs> That's right, and he will. Be. And it's and he could do that. <laughs> rhythm and gospel. Yes. Nice. Yes. You know, um, I say I'm a church boy. Um, but I love hip-hop music, mm -hmm. so it's just yeah. the church and the hip-hop mm -hmm. mixed together, mm -hmm. but the message is still about God, mm -hmm. Yes, you know, um, and it's, I took the B out because it's no blues. Mm -hmm. Right, sad. right, right. Nope, it's sad anymore. Sad. Right. We, it's, we, it's all inspiration. It makes you feel good. After you listen to the song, you feel like the song, you feel like you can conquer the world. Exactly. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. so R&G. And uh, it's actually... It's moving out. Like, catching, everybody's like, yo, this, on. you just started something. <laughs> yeah, that's a good inspiration mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. for yeah. other yeah. people who want to get into religion as yeah. well. Yeah. So who's their, like, your their favorite artist that you've worked with so far to date? Has to be Life Chickens. It has to be Life I learned so much from him. Um, I actually was his assistant. Right. And mm -hmm. partly was managing him at one time. Uh -huh. So not only was I his background singer, but he took me to his meetings at Sony. Mm -hmm. You know, I was in all the meetings. I was in all his private little things that background singers don't get to see. Mm -hmm. So, so, you're I, his so I learned a lot of the business. Yeah, get to see. Yeah, the and later, on, we ended up moving in. Like his, that's that's like my. You guys drew a, a real relationship. Yeah, brother from another mother. And mm -hmm. I'm actually still on tour with him to this day. Oh, wow, I gotta go nice. meet him Saturday. We're in uh, Atlanta. What are you guys doing out there? What will you have coming up? I have so much coming up. I'm. My Instagram is T-Rex0506. Follow, follow, follow. follow Check him out. Um, <laughs> well, we're going to at you anyway, and then you just yes, gonna, yes, yes. Mm -hmm, um, yes. T-Rex0506, that's also my Twitter. And my Facebook is T-Rex Sings, T-R-E-X-S-I-N-G-S. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll put everything on there. If I, there was, I have a great relationship with the people. You have like a thousands and thousands of followers. Like I have, have I'm now media. at 60,000. Good wow. for you. Wow. Nice. Social media is perfect now. Like it's awesome. Awesome. Right. And it's, it's ain't insane. no tricks. I ain't got no people it's pushing deep. me. It's all word of mouth. People love the music. Yes. And they are sharing it with everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. on people on their job. On they, that's great. You know, and I think that's a great method of selling your music yeah. are you because doing like an album release party or anything like that it's out i already did all that you did oh, you didn't oh invite anyone you didn't invite us <laughs> <laughs> yes, we want to go you can have another one i did a uh, <laughs> you can have, 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 have a party for you can have a re-release exactly. <laughs> i did one in atlanta I did one in Atlanta and I did one in New York. Oh, we missed it. Damn. We missed two. that. Damn. Oh, well. We have more to come, so we'll be at the next one. Don't forget. Yes, yes, yes. 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 If there was one artist that you could work with, who would it be? Wow, that's a good question. 
In dead or alive. World. Dead or alive. Well, we have to have a dead one well, and the alive, alive one. first. A dead alive alive first. And then it will have the to be Dave, Dave, Dave Hollister. Oh, really? I am wow. a really? die voice. hard big fan of Dave Hollister. Really? Wow. And last year, I sitting on my couch, minding my business, and my phone rang. I mean, he's that's my idol. Dave Hollister? Dave he's a great voice, Hollister. Dave Hollister. And if you hear me, so listen, I you am, might I'm really surprised. hear a little bit I mean, he's a gospel artist now, but... He's still doing R&B. Oh, oh, he is? Because yeah, yeah. I know he was doing something... Well, they have a lot common then. He said God has anointed him to sing to everybody. Okay, good, good. You know okay. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, I was laying, sitting on my couch, and my phone rang, and they're like, where you at? And I'm just like, I'm in New York. Just like, oh my God, we need you right now. And I'm just like, what you need me for? Oh, uh, one of the singers can't do it, and they told me to call you. And I'm just like, oh, okay, well, who was it for? She was like, Dave Hollister. Yeah, I saw I know you was like, get dressed! <laughs> Erica was there. <laughs> I Erica. jumped up, up, up. <laughs> went around the house, she actually taped it. I just couldn't <laughs> believe it. I was oh just like, Oh, my God, thank wow. you, God. Thank you, God. And when oh I got God. there, Praise him. he was, you know, you can really respect somebody and like them, and you meet them, and they have a nasty attitude, mm-hmm. and just, you're like, ugh, I don't like you no more. But right. He was humble, and we sat down, and we started singing together. He was like, you sound like me. Mm-hmm. And then um, we, did, we did Central it. Park last year, and we did. Uh, he took me to D.C. with him. Wow. So I've worked with him, uh-huh. but I'm talking about on a record. Yeah. Oh, you know right. you want a collaboration like, with him. Dave collaborate. Hollister is the truth, man. Well, Dave, you better hit him up. That's right, this, Dave. This yeah. star <laughs> is not coming back down, honey. <laughs> I can yeah. feel it. Big shout to Dave Hollister. Okay, so what about someone dead? Someone dead? Yes. Whitney Houston. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. Whitney. This is. Well, she what else can you say? There's no yeah. other yeah. person. She's legend. Yeah. yeah that's legendary. done it. And, and you know what I liked about Whitney? She was cool. Mm-hmm. She was down to earth. Yes. You know, she was funny. She was mm-hmm. giddy. She was. She wasn't what they you know, sold us. Right. Right. She wasn't what they sold us. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that's and that's a big problem with a lot of artists. That's why I'm just like, I'm glad I'm on my own label. I'm doing it myself. Mm-hmm. I get to pick what songs I want to come out. I get to pick what I want to do. And, and I get to be me. Mm-hmm. And who you want to do it with, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's um, very What's cool. your favorite song on the album? My favorite song on the album, I really like them all. Really? Exactly the same does. much. Exactly. <laughs> 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 no, because sometimes but, you're like, you know what? Uh, you know, I hate track number. Of course, three. In, <laughs> it's on the album in, anyway. in his image, it's just one of those records when you hear it, you automatically <laughs> like it as soon as it comes. You don't want to switch to any. You want to listen to the all them all the way through. No, he said in in, in his, his image. image mm-hmm. um, my single is definitely one of my favorites. In power, mm-hmm. you know, power. You, you, you gotta hear it. It's it's very very. Um, enlightening, you know, and a lot of kids love it. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of adults love mm-hmm. it. That's good. You See, know, if so. you love all your music, everyone else is going to love your music. Absolutely. Only put right. out the greatest. But I can truly say, and I'm not just saying this because of my music, I really Did am time. shocked at mm-hmm. how the music came out. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Tell us this. Oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say the live thing and the studio thing is different. Mm-hmm. Right. You can be a great live singer, and I know so many fantastic live singers. Yeah. But they cannot get in the studio and make a record. Why? Because the, really? The, because it's, the inspiration isn't there. Because just, they're fre- fearful. Because it's different. You know, Why? You just you, it's it's techniques that you have to learn when you're in the studio yeah. with the booth. Okay. Yeah. Right. You can't just get in there and. Ah! Well, it is, it is both ways too, because a lot of people say studio singers can't sing good live at all. Like right. They can't sing for their life. Right. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Name any so names. it's good to have both. <laughs> and thank God I got both. You know, because I love the live. I love the live. Mm-hmm. I actually hate the studio. I really yeah. don't like being in the studio. Really? Why? Is it like just you're working? Yeah. Right? No, I have ADD. <laughs> so my t- legit ADD or you no, just have a- I just no. You just say it. I can't. No, I can't my my attention <laughs> span that. of sitting in one place for such a like. Oh, but let's me. let's hurry. I don't want to keep you stuck. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm selling my I'm selling my record right now. <laughs> took you take all day. I was just start <laughs> twitching. <laughs> so so I can't take the it. video. How did you come up with the concept? Because the the dancers are pristine. Well, you know what? I've been background singing all my life, but mm-hmm. I was a dancer first as what? a kid. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And I went in church to, or formal informal. Praise dance. Not in church. Oh. Praise oh. It, oh. Like I did yeah, try to get the dance praise dance. dance. I went to a dance class. Well, I thought it was corny, so I was like, you I'm not praise dancer. dancer. I did once. He was like, praise. So were you like a hip-hop dancer? Yes, hip-hop or were dancer. You? Okay. 
And that's really was my goal when I was a child. It's like, I'm going to be a dancer. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know Pop I mean? locking and, and um, all that good stuff. I started stuff. singing and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna put the dancing. You had your boy was on the show the other day. Yes. Old tail that was, he's What's up, Doc? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do a lot. Of, we grew up in New York singing together at all the underground. Really? Yes, he's very yeah. talented. Yeah. He is very talented. Yeah. yeah. So, right. what advice would you give someone um, who is inspiring to become an artist? Wow. I mean, I would. The advice that I would give someone that's aspiring to do anything, I say, you got to know your purpose. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? I say we have a lot of gifts and we mm-hmm. are. We have a lot of things that we can do, right? But um, just because you can play basketball really good, that don't mean you're supposed to be in the NBA. Right, right, you right, know what I mean? right, right. So if you are 100 percent sure with your purpose, have a relationship with God, and you are, and you know for a fact that's what you've been called to do, it'll happen. Mm-hmm. You just it gotta happen. keep working. Discipline. You know? Someone but, said but that. have that relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people get the purpose and the talents and gifts all mixed up. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I say that first. Know your know your purpose, man. If I knew this is what God called me. I to totally do. agree. That's right. that's so exactly you know. How no matter it. what the time frame was, you know, I just had to keep working. Mm-hmm. You know, because I knew this is what it was. You have to be the one who who believes in it, because no one yes. else will. That's what's going to keep you going, basically. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know that can even be tricky too, because you can still believe in something. All that's you not want true. To. If you don't have, a connection. <laughs> you know, don't have a connection. some people don't just know. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a lot of friends and people that come to me and they're doing albums and they singing and I'm just like dude for these people are wasting all their time mm-hmm. well something Running Steve Harvey here. had said he said um do what you do best at with the with the, the least, least work effort, right. with the least mm-hmm. effort and mm-hmm. that's because some people say yeah we have these dreams but I always mm-hmm. feel like you only live one life if you know that you have a mm-hmm. purpose that mm-hmm. that you feel in your heart you may may suck at it still doing it aside right. because you never know and, what's gonna happen and try a couple things because I got to a point at one time where I thought when I started doing business for mm-hmm. life, and I was assistant, I was um, helping manage him. I got to the point where I was like, "I'm good at this. Right. Maybe this is good. maybe this is what I'm supposed to be doing." Right. And I had totally, me being an artist was not a year or two ago was nothing that I was thinking of. And all of this happened so in, in two years. This all happened in one year. Wow. Okay, so this is what we probably need to do now. Yeah. We probably need to get your handles out so that people know. Yes, right. Just give us a little drop. Right. Where you, you need to give a drop so that people know exactly where to find you. But okay. I have a quick question. I want to know since you since you were content with being life's um, his assistant, when did you feel like okay, this calling me? I feel like I want to be an artist. I feel like I need to go out and give a message to everyone. Well, you know, and sing my heart out. What happened was life had ended up going back to jail. Right. And I had been working here for all my life, and I just got to a point where I was like, well, what am I going to do? So I said, let me get my own artist. Mm-hmm. So I went and I formed a relationship with Shalik mm-hmm. and um, was working with Shalik. Sounds and familiar. Yeah, Sounds we, I familiar. think I brought Shalik. We've done something with Shalik here on the show. New before. York, he's from? Yeah. Okay, I think I know who you're talking about. And um, his album was over, and God came to me and said, it's time. And right. I'm just like, well, I don't yeah. want to do this. I don't want to be an artist. <laughs> you know? Wow. And um, I knew it was going to be gospel music because I just wanted to be true to myself and real with right. who I am. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not mm-hmm. the type of guy to be on stage like, mm-hmm. let me think, you know. <laughs> don't be a sellout. <laughs> like, no, what, what are you doing? You don't know, be a sellout. Not, 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 <laughs> not even in that, you know, it's, I, I, I was, I'm ready. I was ready for this. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm you know, ready for ministry and I was just ready to just, I said, God, I'm going to do it. I have to sing about you. Okay. I'm pretty sure you'll be better being real than being fake, right? Yeah. Exactly. Now, where can we get the music? Where can we get the music? You can get my EP, hashtag 8 New Beginnings, um, on iTunes, Amazon, all digital outlets, and you can actually order the CD on Amazon.com. Yes. Thank you so much. And let everyone know where they can find you. Thank you so much. Instagram. 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 Twitter is T Rex O five O six T R E X zero five zero six and my Facebook is T Rex Sings T R E X S I N G S. And he will be going live on Facebook tomorrow. Yes. And are you performing <laughs> in New York at SOBs? I'm gonna be doing um Soul Village with Eric Robeson coming up. Okay. I have a bunch of shows coming up. Just follow him. So if they Just follow, follow him, him. They follow him mm-hmm. so you can find Everybody out where come he'll sing, you know? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Shout out to you. Thank you for coming Thank by. Thank What's you the 401 so TV? Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. These are really good. You act surprised.
Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Yay. Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark! We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. <laughs> mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner soon. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Welcome back to What's the 411. Now we have events that are in the pipeline. Yes, move over, Miss Patty. Aretha Franklin is coming through. <laughs> the Grill.com is reporting that the Queen of Soul will have her own food line at Walmart. So her majesty, her majesty told Detroit's local news for that her pies and food products will arrive and be arrival with other sweet potato pies. They like the patty pies. Yes. This and coming she, for Patty. And she also said that she and Patty Labelle are cool. They have no beef. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Okay, so Sweet Honey in the Rock with guests Terrence Blanchard and Regina Carter will be at Carnegie Hall on February 11th. And Kanye will bring his waves as musical guests on SNL February 13th. And Maxwell and Nas will perform at the Barclays Center on February 14th. Oh, I want to see Maxwell. I love Maxwell. Not Nas. I love Nas. Nas, too. I love them both. I saw Maxwell. He's great. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Uh, Nas, he's amazing. He just did a new okay. remix to March Madness with Future. Okay. Great. Oh, yes. An award-winning playwright, Richard Wesley, will be at a book signing for his newest publication, Richard Wesley Play Anthology. The Drama Desk Bookshop, 250 West 40th Street, from 7 to 9 p.m., on February 18th. Essence.com is reporting that Owen will air the Essence Black Women in Hollywood special on Saturday, February 21st. Oh, that's nice. That's going to be great. Well, guess what? A little dab do ya, because that's it. Wait, a little dab do ya. We should do that. <laughs> a little dab do ya. That's it for What's the 411. We are done. Yes. Oh. Until next week, check out our website, www.whatstheforeone.com. And remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, Blab, and Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 411 TV. Yes, please check us out. We just might mention you on the show. You need to add us. You really need to add us because we are so much fun on social media. Yes, we are. Okay, so I'm Monika McLean. And on behalf of this one, as in Samaje, and this one, Courtney <laughs> Rashad, thank you for tuning in Good to night. What's the 411. Bye. <laughs>